In the city of Houston, like the rest of Texas, life has been good since the first black gold gushed from the ground back in the early 1900s. So it might seem like an odd place to stage an event whose sole purpose is to find ways of cutting back on our oil and gas consumption, right? Well, it gets even more complicated when you discover the sponsor of this event is one of the biggest oil companies in the world, and it's called the Shell Eco Marathon. University and high school students have come here from five countries having designed and built their own vehicles with one purpose in mind, to see who can go the furthest on less energy. Would you believe 3,500 miles on one gallon of gasoline? And that's just to start. Heck, you'd never be stopping at a gas station. But as you're about to see, this makes the sponsor Shell happy. Let's find out why. We have 125 student teams from five different countries from the Americas and it's over 1,100 students here trying to build the world's most fuel efficient car. They can choose from five different energies, from gasoline and diesel over a biofuel like ethanol and GTL to a battery electric and hydrogen fuel cell. And also they can choose whether they want to build a prototype car which is very, very efficient and can achieve up to 3,000 miles to the gallon or they built an urban concept car, a car that is more realistic for road use and that you and I may be driving in a decade or two. It's actually a very exciting year for Canada. We have a record number of teams, 11 teams from 10 different schools from coast to coast across Canada, competing with 123 teams from North and South America. And so far today, we have five Canadian teams placing in the top 20 ranking. I'm on the engine team, so we have a little 35cc Honda engine. And at school, you got to do a lot of projects and it's a lot of theory and stuff. So it's quite nice to kind of get out and get your hands dirty. And it's our first year. We have so much to learn from the other teams, so it's been great. Is it Dan? You sure about that? Yeah, it's, a it's the hands-on experience. That's what you're really getting out. We've been working on this car for months, between classes, after class, on the weekend. All our spare time has gone into making this happen. It's really great to see it come together. Before students can go on the track, they have to pass technical inspection. This is probably the most feared part of Shell Eco Marathon by the students, because over 50 technical inspectors are looking all over their car and checking is it safe, are they adhering to the rules, is it designed to the specifications, and are there maybe any illegal uh, installations on their cars. Out there on the racetrack, the students have to compete a run of 10 laps here around Discovery Green in Houston. That equates to about six miles. And they have to do that with an average speed of 15 miles an hour. So they have to be back after a certain time. And when they come back, we measure how much fuel have they consumed. And then we extrapolate that over the mileage that they have done. And we post on the scoreboard how many miles per gallon have they achieved. Currently, the leader in the gasoline prototype category stands at over 1,100 miles to the gallon. A winning number in Europe these days is typically around eight to 9,000 miles to the gallons in a prototype car. And in an urban concept car, six, seven, eight hundred miles to the gallon, a car that is more like to what we will see in road transport in the future. 8,000 miles on one gallon of gasoline. Heck, you'd be going to the gas station once a year, yet Shell, the sponsor, their business is to sell you gasoline. Is this a contradiction? I don't think a contradiction. I think this is rather obvious. As an energy company, we're interested in bringing energy to the people. And if we want to do this in 2050 and beyond, we have to figure out ways how we can still fuel the mobility and the mobility of the future. And that will need more different energy sources and it needs us all to increase the efficiency of the energy sources that we are using so that more people can become mobile. We're an energy company and the reality is with the population increasing to 9 billion by 2050, energy demands doubling. So that's for all sources of energy and we need to look at our wide array of options to better use all of it in a smarter, more responsible way. When you walk through the paddock and you see thousands and thousands of students every year working towards this one big goal, finding solutions for future mobility, I am so impressed and I'm so heartened by that feeling. 
and by this what I see there. There are so many young minds who are creative, who are visionary and who are determined. And uh, I think we are seeing here the, the engineers of the future who will be building you in my car in 10 or 20 years time. The Shell Eco Marathon is continuing here in downtown Houston and while I've been here a couple of things have stuck with me. First, don't worry about the younger generation. I've met some pretty smart kids here who do care about their future and are willing to work towards making it a better one. And secondly, and this may come as a big surprise to David Suzuki disciples, but companies like Shell and even Oil Crazy Houston do encourage sustainability as we've seen this week. But they also understand that the car is going to be here for a long, long time. So let's figure out a way to deliver that energy in a more responsible manner. And who better to achieve that goal than the future generation? Congratulations.